four years ago, I was looking in, uh, from my room in Beijing on the 32nd floor. It was actually really horrible. I couldn't even see the other side of the street, completely covered in smog. And it was a very sad and a very disturbing image. This is from 2005 to 2016, the increase in NO2, eh, the pollution. So you see America is getting cleaner. Asia, eh, like China and India, is getting more and more polluted. So if we zoom in into Beijing, where we look at the PM 2.5, Beijing. So I, I love Beijing, eh? I learned so much from it. But right now, if you're in the city there, it's the same as 17 cigarettes per day. This takes five, six years of our life. Eh? Schools are being shut down. It costs 321 million US dollar per year in Beijing region only, eh? like, like, like the healthcare and the, the schools are shutting down and the traffic problems, etc. And of course, it's not just China, eh? it's not just Beijing. If we go to London, five weeks ago, London was more polluted than Beijing. So Paris, Mexico City, Medellin, places in Kazakhstan, uh, Delhi, every city has its problems. I wanted to make something within the now. So for me it's about connecting things. The science and the art. So this is the largest smog vacuum cleaner in the world, which sucks up polluted air from the top, capturing the PM2.5, PM10 particles. These are particles 40 times smaller than your hair. So normally you cannot see them, smell them or taste them. But what this tower does is that it works with positive ionization. I remember that when I was a boy, I had this, this plastic balloon. And when you polish it with your hand, it of course becomes static, eh? static electrified. It starts to attract your hair. So we started to use that principle to literally suck it up, build the largest smog vacuum cleaner, capturing the PM2.5, PM10 particles, and then releasing the clean air. So we have parks which are 40 to 70% more clean than the rest of the city. Electricity is of course very important. So we try to make this as energy friendly as possible around a thousand watts and we put, make it solar paneled. We launched a scientific report together with the University of Eindhoven, which shows the effect of the tower and the clean air parks. So one tower will of course not solve the whole problem for a city. Otherwise we would all be billionaires. It's always in combination with green energy. We want to make something on a local scale and it actually works. And what is interesting is that the local da Dalian people, they are calling it already the clean air temple. So they go there with their children to hang out. And it's been great to work together with the World Economic Forum and the governors and the mayors to make sure how we can design cities where hopefully in 10, 15 years, these kind of towers are not necessary anymore. It's great to be here to sort of tickle these governors and these mayors and say, oh, is this possible? Yes, it's possible.